Hello and welcome back. We have reached 700 and so I wanted to take y'all on a journey. We're going from the flatlands of Iowa to the mountains in the west. On our way to the Yellowstone National Park, we stopped in South Dakota to look at the Crazy Horse Memorial. To those who know this memorial, the Crazy Horse horse carving will be done in the next 15 years. The journey to Yellowstone was surrounded by amazing landscapes of the West. The land to the West might be harsh, but it is beautiful. We were finally in Yellowstone and as soon as I reached the Yellowstone Lake, I wanted to skip some stones. And apparently I am good at it. <laughs> Now for those who don't know the Yellowstone National Park, it is a government protected land which is basically a super volcano that is active and if it goes off, the entirety of Earth will die in a matter of a few days. So being on this land so close to the danger is a very cool experience. The groundwater in the Yellowstone National Park region is the only reason why the volcano magma and lava hasn't shot out. And so here's all the cool landscapes that the volcano forms. The National Park is not only a home for the wonderful landscape, but to a lot of animals. Mainly bison, bears, elk and moose along with some migrating wolves. This place is not only a home to the bigger animals, but also to bacteria. After I was done at the Yellowstone National Park, we headed to the Grand Tetons. These are a large mountain range that sits south of the Yellowstone National Park.
just recently a part of these mountains peaks broke off and fell these mountains have also created a large amount of waterfalls and glacial water systems such as lakes and rivers as well as creeks When we were done at the Grand Tetons, we headed to the Devil's Tower. Last but not the least, we visited the Badlands. I think they were called Badlands because they were being bad and were on the naughty list for Santa Claus. Badlands are an amazing landscape formed by wind and water erosion as well as volcanic activity on Earth. Now, you are probably wondering why I am talking about landscapes and national parks. That is because our first competition is going to be making a landscape diorama. If you haven't taken part in the Discord yet, there is a Discord link down below. You can add yourself to it. For our first competition, we are going to create a landscape of our choice. Using this video as an inspiration, it does not have to be any of the materials shown in this video. It can be whatever you want, but it has to be a landscape. The dimensions of your project will not go over 5 by 5 inches. It can be smaller, but it cannot go over 5 by 5. This competition will go for 4 weeks, so people have enough time to catch on. And there will be 3 lucky winners, or I should say ranked winners. We will have a good old voting system where you all will vote the first place, second place and third place and these three people will win the three minis for free. So if you have just watched this video and want to join, you can still join the discord. It is in the description down below. As always, thank you for watching, thank you for 700, and I will see you guys in the next one, bye bye.